all the minutes still moves. on the clock there. 92 minutes on the clock here, Dan. And maybe it's something we have to say about Diogo. From the kickoff, should he have held that ball? But he gave away possession. He gave Tex the chance to get back into this tie in the first leg. And then Tex carried on that momentum into the second. So we thought after that insane first leg of FIFA that we'd maybe have a little bit more of a relaxed time in the second leg. Absolutely not. Tex taking the lead with a well-worked goal there to go up 3-2 to two on aggregate. But in the 82nd minute, a little mistake at the back allowed him in Sun in. And that sent us to extra time. And look at the clock here. 121 minutes on the clock. And we have to remember, Tex had the corner. He opted not to cross it in. He played it. He recycled. He was patient. And in the dying moments, he wanted the last attack. And he absolutely buried it with a header, as he has done so much throughout this tournament. And look at the raw emotion and what it means to him. He didn't come to this tournament just to represent Liverpool. He came to this tournament to win for Liverpool. And he will have that chance in the E Premier League Grand Final versus Manchester United. Absolutely unbelievable stuff coming in from Liverpool's text. This is how we stand at the moment. You can see Manchester United will be taking on Liverpool in our Grand Finals. I think we should check in with Tex and see how he's feeling with that. He's down on the floor with Emma. Yeah, guys, it was absolutely unbelievable, wasn't it? I think the maddest match we've seen over the last couple of days. Just talk me through that, if you can. Yeah, I think that's the craziest game I've ever played, and I started really slow, got two goals at the end, and then the second game I played really well, but you had, like, Spider-Man on the goal line, so I couldn't score, but had a DCL, what can I say? How do you feel that it came from uh, Calvert-Lewin? Um, blame hashtag Harry, he told me to put him in, so put him in, header, goal, green. It was worth it, it was worth it. 100%, even though, if, even though it was an Everton player scoring me a winner, it, it doesn't matter in this scenario. And um, just talk me through the composure from both of you, to be fair. How hard is it to stay cool in that situation? Yeah, even when I'm like falling up, I'm still nervous, so imagine when it's like, like tight, like it's so scary, but what can I say, I managed to clutch up at the end, 122nd minute. I didn't know if to swing in, swing in the corner or not with Virgil van Dijk, but I thought, no, nah, let's play it, play it safe, take the penalty shoot out, but I managed to score. You certainly did, and it is Manchester United in the grand final. You said anyone but Manchester United can win. You are now the man to stop Kyle. So how do we see that going? Can you stop him? I thought I did my job in the semi-final, but here we are again, grand final, so I'm ready. Just, as I say, anyone but United, you know, it's just me left. And just quickly, 850 points in the bag. Not that you really need them. We're nearly at 10,000 points now. That's just incredible. Thank you, but I'm, I'm just here to represent Liverpool and win it for us, so hopefully I can do that, and then they can repay me by winning the league in real life. <laughs> well, good luck. Back to you guys on the floor. Thank you very much, Emma. Great to hear from Tex there. Anyone but Man United, he said, Spencer. One of the maddest games he's ever played in. And when you think of how many tournaments he's been involved in, how many tournaments he's won, that just illustrates what an amazing game we saw. And there it is, confirmation of our grand final. It is, of course, Manchester United against Liverpool. Two heavyweights in the Premier League. And what a final we have in our first ever EPL going to be amazing. Can't wait to see what happens. I just hope he lives up to the last two games we just saw, which were amazing. Shout out to Diogo, by the yeah. way. He did so well there. Got to say, though, it, it, it's kind of a repeating pattern of what we saw in the Southampton game, whereas Tex went 2-0 down quite early on, and I think it's a dangerous position to find yourself in against Tex. It sounds ridiculous. You're up against him. Surely that's good, but you don't want to make Tex angry. These it's are the goals. Now, now, look at the clock. This is 2-0 down. Two goals in the first leg after the 90th minute mark, Spence. Yeah, I mean, that's just pure composure from Tex. He gets the one on 90 minutes. This one is in injury time, added time, if you like. I think there was a little bit of a mistake maybe there from Diogo, changing player to David Luiz too late, missing the sliding tackle opportunity. And that puts massive momentum for uh, for Tex going into the second leg, and then this happens. And if we saw drama in the first leg, this was the second leg. We'd just seen two late goals, and then an even later goal. Look at this. This is a three-all. So advanced final. to the grand final. There's so much to talk about here. Great header from, obviously, an Everton player. Yeah. Calvert Loon. We saw Tex recreate hate the header of his celebration but what I particularly liked about that is he had a corner before that he chose not to whip it in for two reasons I think one because it, it was as he said there maybe just making sure he got to the penalty shootout because there's a risk of corners they can obviously go your way but if the other team get a clearance there's a potential counter-attack scenario so Tex played it safe got the ball took it back into his own half to then almost start and restart the attack which worked out perfectly for him so those kind of choices are what makes champions and we saw the atmosphere here everyone just going crazy just what drama that we saw one of the best games that we've seen all tournament this late on in the tournament. This is exactly what you want from
from a console final. You know, again, Diogo's done so well. He, he's got to be proud of what he's achieved here for Fulham. I'm sure Fulham are really proud as well. But it's all about two teams now, isn't it? Manchester United versus Liverpool. It's an age-old rivalry of a modern twist. Yes. Who will win? I mean, Tex is still the favourite, of course, but I've been kind of counting out Kyle Lees ever since that first game. I wasn't I wasn't sure if he was going to do it. He keeps surprising me, so maybe he can surprise us again. Yeah, OK, so it is the grand final coming up next. We are down to just two teams, two heavyweights in the Premier League, and one of them will be crowned the first ever EPL grand final winner. It's Man United against Liverpool after this short break.